All right, I'm recording. This is 10.5. All right, 5.22. Everybody please write down for example one, 12a squared plus 16a. Okay, stop talking now, boys. Does anybody know what factoring is? Nobody? Nobody's heard of factoring before? Okay. So here's the deal. You know how we've been multiplying things out using like boxes and foil and all that stuff? Factoring is pulling it apart oh. and breaking it down into like parentheses from what it originally was. Um, there's an easy way to factor and that's the one we're doing today, which is just figuring out what's in common between the two and it's like backwards distribution. So I guess you can think of today as like backwards distribution. So what's in common between 12a squared and 16a? What's in common between 12 and 16? We'll start there. What could I pull out of both? A 4 goes into both. And what did you say, Jaden? An A. Um, okay, so a 4 and an A go into both. And then I'm writing a parenthesis because we're imagining that we're like backwards distributing. We're figuring out what is in common between both. If I d divide a 12 by 4, what do I get? 3. And A squared divided by A is just A. 16A divided by 4A is what? 4. Plus 4. Just 4. Because the A would be distributed in. Do you see how I can figure out if I'm right? Because if I distribute back in my head, I get 12A squared and 16A. This is it. This is all we're doing. That's all you do. Yes, it's just practicing to go to do this backwards thing here. You, you try it with your partner right now. Let's try this one. Uh, 33 n to the third <coughs> minus 121 n squared. If you need a calculator, go get one. Trying to find out what's in common between 33 and 121. I do have a question. What is the twist going to come? I don't want to use the one lesson. It's not going to get complicated. This lesson is pretty uncomplicated. That'll be great. And tomorrow's lesson is a little bit complicated to understand and not complicated to do. You're thinking about what? How many ends are in both of them? Right, but how many ends are in both? Are there three ends in both? Are there three ends in this one and this one? No. So you take out the max that's in both. Right, well, there'd be one left on this one, and this one there'd be nothing left. So there, there's going to be an n squared on the outside, yeah. Good. All right, I'm going to talk through this one with you, and then we're going to uh, <coughs> uh, go through this. So did you guys figure out what's in common between 33 and 121? 11. 11 and an n squared. You can take both of those out. If you take an 11 out of 33, if you divide it, what's left? 3, Three and an n. Does the minus stay? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's 121 divided by 11? 11. 11. Do I still need an n? No. no. If I had an n there, then it would be n to the third when I distributed it in. And that's it. Why is there 11 at the end? 
Because 121 divided by the 11 we took out is, leaves you an 11. Because 11 times 11 is 121. It's hard doing this backwards uh, distribution thing, kind of figuring out what goes into both. All right, let's make it a little bit harder. It's not a twist. It's just a little bit harder. You're going to be okay. All right, let's try 20. X squared Y squared minus 45 X squared Y minus 35 X squared. It's not that bad. All right, now we need to think about what's in all of them. What? 20, 45, and 35 are all divisible by 5. A 5 and an X squared is in all of them, right? Okay, so what's left? Four. There's a 4. And there's a Y squared here. Minus? 9Y. Minus seven. seven, and that that's it. Uh, we did we did it. It's finished. Remember a second ago when you guys acted like that was the end of the world when I wrote that up, and then we finished it in like a minute. We're gonna do one whole more example. Phew. <coughs> what? You're right. Everybody write this problem down. This one's worth a prize. That says, just in case you can't read it, 14a squared b squared c minus 6ac squared plus 10ac. Okay. Dry skin. And some for coming up here? I am, I will, when you are picked, I will, because I don't want to waste time and look at everybody's, but or we only got one group? Yeah, we'll let them go up. Okay, you want to, can I see your answer? Okay, so the thing or the number that goes into the numbers is two, and in each part right now. there's an A and a C, so it's two AC parentheses, and then if you divide fourteen and two, you get seven, and you take one A away, which leaves you at A B squared, and then minus three C 
plus 5 parentheses. That's exactly right. Do you guys see how we're just doing the opposite relationship? We're just breaking it down. So factoring is another word for breaking it down. Grab some prizes. I will have to owe you one. Okay. All right. Um, uh, your homework is page 582. Numbers 26 through 36. Yeah. 